What's going on, my people? Yes, sir. We back at it again with another video, man. It's your boy Cardo, and I'm glad that y'all can make it today. So please do me a favor right now. Go on ahead, press the subscribe button, click that bell so you can know when I'm when I'm uploading these videos, man. And please like the video. Then it's press this enough so that these videos can spread and we can get this message out here for the other folks. You hear me? All right, now y'all know who I'm talking to. Chosen ones. Yes, sir. How y'all feeling? Look, man, we got some stuff to talk about today. And you're probably wondering what that is. But before I get started, let's thank our almighty Heavenly Father for allowing us to be here today. Yes, sir, indeed. Today we're talking about having more gratitude and appreciation. And I don't just mean for the big things. I'm talking about for the small things. We got to remember the small things that we should be thankful for. We be taking a lot of things for granted. You know what I'm saying? We be having rough days. There are rough days in life. Most definitely. It's part of life, y'all. But the thing is, you still breathing. You still here. You still got another day to make a change. You still got another day to make a positive change for others, for yourself. Come on, man. Something probably bad happened to you yesterday or last week or recently. But you still here. You watching this video right now, listening to me talk, and I'm telling you that you're still here and you should be thankful for that. Come on, man. It's the small things, man. Before I get started with this message, I just want to start off by saying, at least with myself, because, you know, I didn't I didn't been through a lot of things to where I really had to uh, get my mind in a place where I knew that God was with me and that everything was happening for my good. And really just appreciating the things that he has done for me and has brought me through up until the up until that point. You gotta really just think on that and ponder on that when things getting rough out here. Like, for example, I talked about this before, you know, with all of the car accidents that I've had, plenty of car accidents. What I did to cope with that season of, you know, not being able to drive, you know, just back to back setbacks things of that nature. I just had to also think about how I can still walk. I can still walk. I'm still here breathing. Because these car accidents were crucial. So I thank God that he was protecting me throughout all of them. Yes, I was walking a lot, but I'm able to. We got the, it's a, it's a key word here. Get. That's the key word that we always like to forget about. I still get to walk. I still get to move around. I'm not handicapped. The get, we got to focus on the get. What do you still get to do? Because you was brought from this. Come on, man. We got to be more thankful. It's very important. I got a scripture for you. Come on. Every single video, you know we got to have the sword on deck. Ready to slice and dice in these streets. You know what I mean? Now. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances. In all circumstances. For this is the will of God. Come on, man. In all circumstances. So that means circumstances that are really not in your favor. You can still give thanks. Why? Because that circumstance, it was growing you. Thank God for the growth. That circumstance, you was about to get hurt, but you didn't. Protection. Thank God for the protection. Come on, it's too many circumstances, good and bad, where we should be thanking our Heavenly Father. Come on, man, for the small things and the big things. When it's bad and when it's good, we got to bring God in at all times, in every situation. You understand me? Come on, man, we got to find gratitude in these challenging situations. You want to know who did that? Job. Job. Come on, man. The enemy was on Job each and every day. He had to even go to our Heavenly Father like, yo, this man right here, 
What he got going on? He still keep running back to you. Job had so much faith. He kept on falling short. Things kept on happening for him to turn away from God. But he did not do it. He didn't do it. He kept the faith. He kept the strength. Come on, man. God was able to do that for Job. You think he can't do that for you? You don't think you're that strong? You don't think you're strong enough? You're sadly mistaken. You need to stop thinking like that. Come on, man. Job is a great example. I got a scripture for you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 11. This is Paul talking right here. He said, I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low. I know how to abound. So come on now. That word content. He said content. Find that contentment, y'all. You got to find that contentment. That'd be the problem a lot of the times. It's like we always feel like we still don't have enough. We still trying to hurry up and rush to a certain point And we getting like frustrated and just all upset because we ain't getting there yet. Find that contentment. Find that pure happiness and that and that joy. First, we're getting that relationship with God. Start there. That's that's the way to start. And then keep that relationship strong each and every day. And then you got to understand when you're talking to him every day throughout all of these challenges, throughout the time of you trying to be patient, it's going to be so much more peaceful. You're not going to be trying to compete. You're not going to be trying to rush, trying to up, 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 up one on the next person. We're not worried about none of that. That's their life. This is your life. Come on, man. God got a specific life for you. He got gifts and talents that he gave you. That's another thing you got to be grateful for and thankful for. The gifts and talents that you got. Come on, man. You don't believe me? I got a scripture on that. Where is that? Oh, yeah, I'm going to bring it out. Here we go right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every good perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights. Come on, man. You got good gifts and you should be using them. And once you realize that you do got these gifts and you really using them and you starting to understand, you starting to see the change in your attitude, the way you live, you're going to start to be a lot more thankful and more happy. Because you know, when you know, I'm trying to tell you, God, he talks to you, but you got to talk to him. You got to come to him first. He's going to talk back. He may not always answer when we want him to, chosen ones, but you got to wait on him. Don't give in. He like to see that you're going to continue to come back even when you feel like, you know what I'm saying? He's not in your presence. You may, you may feel like that sometimes. Like, where are you at, God? He is there. I'm here to tell you right now, he is there. Come on, y'all. Like the video. Let's get this video out there, man. So we got to understand. We got to be thankful for all of the blessings that we getting. For all of the blessings that we have. Come on now. God has blessed you with so many things. And for you to still be out here complaining, being upset. Yes, we get emotional. We are human. Most definitely. But you got to just change your mindset. You have the, That's the decision to make. You got to understand that's a decision that you have to make how you think, because once you figure out, once you get that under control, I'm trying to tell you, your, your actions and your emotions, just how you move is just going to be totally different. Your life is based off of what you're thinking about for real. Come on, man. I got another scripture for you. This is Psalms. Psalms 100 verse four. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Come on, man. Psalms is real big on gratitude. Real big. Come on, man. So we got to understand that staying in this word, filling our minds with scripture, meditating on the word, studying the word, Praying, our, praying to our Heavenly Father each and every single day. When we go through these challenging circumstances, they are going to 
it, it's going to be beneficial for you. I'm telling you, it works for me. I wouldn't be on here telling you this if it was not working for myself. Yes, it really works. So come on, man. Where's your faith at? Got to most definitely keep on asking God for guidance. And you know, I don't, I'm gonna, excuse me, it's a lot of noise being around. That, that's the thing. When you're speaking good, when you're speaking these messages, there's going to be things around you that's going to try to distract you. But we're not going to get distracted out here. Because we focused on who? Our Heavenly Father. And, and, we, and we know he got us protected. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to understand there's going to be always energy, people, and a lot of things that's going to be around you that's going to try to get you to be agitated, upset, fall short, fall back, just be in misery. No, sir. You got too much to be thankful for. You got too many blessings coming your way. And you're blessed right now. You're already blessed. Come on, man. God is with you every step of the way. Every step of the way, man. So I just wanted to come on here today. I had the Holy Spirit telling me to let y'all know. That we got to be more thankful about the small things, man. More appreciative of what God has done for us already. And we just don't even know what he's about to do. Mm, mm, mm. We can't even think about it, y'all. That's how amazing it's going to be. Even, even though it's looking rough. Come on, man. Chosen ones. The good. Everything is happening for the good of those who love the Lord. That's in the word, man. We got to believe that. So we straight. We just got to make sure. That we are staying obedient. Obedience. Positivity is key. Hanging with the right people. There's a lot of things that can affect your life, man. How you move, your energy. Everything all comes down to that mindset. We got to get this mind right, y'all. So come on. If y'all if y'all was getting something from this video, please like it. Please share the video. And please subscribe to your boy Cardo. You understand? And we're gonna keep this thing moving. Now y'all got to remember. If God out here doing this for me, please believe and understand and know that He out here doing this for you as well. All right now. Now, peace out. And God bless. Wait a minute. I almost forgot. Y'all have a nice, blessed, and beautiful day. Excuse me. Where, where are my manners? All right now. Peace out. And God bless.